how do you feel today looking back on all that time? I mean, obviously, you know, you had a job to do and you did it. Is that kind of the way you process it now? Or do you, do you look back on the war? And, and I'm reading a book right now about Lyndon Johnson. Mm -hmm. And, you know, things could have gone a lot of different ways. You know, we, there was talk uh, by Kennedy uh, before he was assassinated of uh, starting to reduce our military presence in Vietnam. And then he was assassinated and Johnson wasn't going to be the guy who lost Vietnam, you know, to the communists. Do you look back now and think, you know, uh, do, you, do you think you have a different perspective on war than you did then? And do you, do you just view it as, you know, I had a job to do and I did it? Or do you think, you know, wow, what a waste all that was? Or, you know, we, it was a righteous action or you know what are your what are your thoughts today as you look back on on the war and your part in well, it i think it was a waste we we lost a lot of people and we lost a lot of uh, resources that we had however uh, my experience with the with the pilots uh, we had a job to do and, and we didn't concern ourselves with what was going on with the, back home yeah, and it's, you know, it's certainly one of those things where those calls were above your pay grade, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, you know we, we thought it was ridiculous, uh, some of the targets that they picked for us, and, and Johnson was, was picking targets in those days. Yeah. And uh, we, didn't, we didn't approve of that, but that, our job was to hit those targets, and we did it, you know, that was a... What what was an example of a target you think that was ridiculous? Well, there was one high threat area right around Hanoi. High threat meaning it was dangerous for you. It was very dangerous. It was right in the Hanoi area. Right. And uh, it turned out it was a very small oil storage area. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, certainly was not worth the ordinance that we expended on it. Right. So the the the... Uh, in didn't justify. Uh... No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I I have a lot of respect for the guys I flew with. Nobody questioned when we got a target that we didn't think was the right kind of. Yeah. Obviously, you know, it. Uh, you know, it it had to be tough to see. Not only you know you talk about guys who you know, from another squadron or whatever who, you know, went down and on a bad day. But, you know, you also had friends, uh, you know, even your golfing buddy, Jim O'Neill. Um, that must have been particularly hard yes, when, fr he, when friends went down. Yeah, he uh, went back for a second tour, uh, volunteered for a second tour, and he had flown another 70 missions when he was shot down and uh, spent the last six months in prison. In Hanoi. At that time, did you know that he had been captured, or did you not have any idea whether he survived? Oh, yes. Uh, as a matter of fact, his picture uh, was in the evening paper. Somehow, the, the Vietnamese had a picture of him, and they gave it to the national... So they were, they were quite pleased with themselves to have an American yeah. pilot. Yeah, and, and Jim just happened to be <laughs> one of them. Yeah. But he, he did come home. He was not seriously hurt and, and uh, spent six months and lost a lot of weight, and, but he came out okay. Heck of a way to have a diet, huh? Yeah, right. <laughs> well, how about, a, how about a happier memory? Uh, tell me about the first time you went flying. As I recall, you uh, went out to Boeing Field. First time you were ever in an airplane. <laughs> yeah, I was about 10 years old, and my uncle took me out to Boeing Field in Seattle. And uh, we were looking at airplanes, and somehow he got me a ride in one. It was about a 15 or 20 minute flight, but it was. Do you remember what quite, kind of plane? Quite a thrill. It was probably an <coughs> Cessna small aircraft. Open cockpit or not? Oh no, no. I, yeah. Yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. I had another experience at Boeing. Uh, a friend of mine had some flying type coming. He had taken some lessons then, so we went down uh, 1st of May, I believe, and, and uh, he got us some flying time. 
and I, the nice looking young lady was the instructor. <laughs> and I had another flight. Was this uh, when you were in high school? Yeah. Uh, so this would have been during World War II, probably? No, uh, it was, uh, no, it was after the war. It was probably 1946. Okay. Imagine there were a few women around who had been used as, uh, to shuttle pilots, or shuttle, shuttle planes uh, overseas. Yeah, there was uh, the Women's Army Corps. Right, the wax. Yeah. So when was it that you decided to, uh, to join the Air Force, and, and why? Well, I was going to university, and, and uh, I was uh, going to be drafted when I graduated. Because of the Korean War. Yeah, the Korean War. So I had to start looking around for something so I didn't have to carry a rifle. And uh, I ended up applying for aviation cadets and was accepted. And uh, that took a year and... and uh, when, when was that? When did you graduate? I, I graduated from high school in 1997. 97? 1947. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I graduated yeah, in 1979. Yeah, yeah, so. 1947. Uh -huh. And uh, from there I went to the University of Washington and, and graduated in 51, 1951. And I had applied for cadets and was accepted, so consequently, uh, the 28th or 9th of June, I had to sign up or get drafted. <laughs> so I signed up for four years, and it was uh, if I washed out of flying training, I would have gone back to being a uh, and a private mm -hmm. in the air, in the Air Force. And fortunately, I got through that. That was in Texas, is that right? It was uh, in Texas for primary training. And Whereabouts? Do you remember? Uh, San Antonio. Mm -hmm. And then from there I got my assignment to cadets, and I went to Moultrie, Georgia, and uh, got my primary training there. Imagine you uh, did something else while you were in Moultrie, Georgia. Yeah, as a matter of fact, fact I got myself a wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, not a bad, uh, not a bad, uh, not too bad excursion no. then. No, uh -uh. Worked out pretty well. What are we at? Fifty, gosh. Fifty-nine years, I think. Wow. Uh, thereabouts. Yeah. That, that's lasted longer than the Air Force. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the Air Force. I think in 40, 47, 48. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for your time, and we'll, uh, we'll do this uh, again. Okay. Thanks.